Well, hello again. It's Bob in one KPR. And uh, today we want to look at uh, uh, a VHF, UHF preamp, actually a distribution amplifier uh, that we threw together uh, to accommodate the, the radios in this uh, shack and some other radios uh, about the house. Uh, basically, we have a, uh, this is a one rack unit amplifier that contains two cascaded uh, uh, CATV uh, drop amplifiers for a total gain of uh, 30 dB. Uh, the, those preamps are uh, relay switched internally through this module uh, so that we can control the amount of gain. We don't overdrive uh, the outputs to the radios and the radio head ends and uh, uh, noise factors and so forth. So it's uh, the gain is can be tailored to uh, whatever we have to do for that mission. Uh, this particular thing has a bandwidth of uh, about 50 megs up into the uh, just barely gigahertz range and let's go through it quickly we can shunt the input so that any of the three one two three external antennas uh, here uh, can be shunted to ground for safety or for standby purposes uh, here we have the relay uh, switch where we're right now bypassed and now we're at 30 dB of gain let's see you can see that uh, we can also through uh, T uh, pads uh, tailor the gain down to uh, here it's at 0 dB minus 10 20 30 uh, and 40 dB so that we could, uh, again, avoid overload conditions and so forth. The output can be put into a standby mode, just as the antenna can, uh, again, to mute the system or uh, uh, during switching exercises, whatever. Uh, so, anyhow, we've got uh, these EAS monitors, the three, the two, and the uh, EAS-1 running from this distribution app as well as some other radios upstairs but uh, let's just take a quick look here we have 50 microvolts coming in from a station in Long Island over here to southern Connecticut if we bypass this thing you'll notice that we drop considerable amount of uh, uh, signal level Whereas, I don't know if this shows up very well on the camera that's 33 microvolts uh, and here's 50 microvolts we can also pad it down as I mentioned earlier there's 47 41 40 39 actually and well, still 39 over here we have a relative indication of the uh, signal level right now if we could see that it's about zero uh, DB. Uh, we add the 30 over here. You can see the needle went up to uh, it's about plus 30. We go back to zero here and we start pulling it down now minus 10. There's 10, 20, 30, and then finally 40. What this is is basically just a field strength meter type circuit where we're measuring broadband FM uh, I'm sorry uh, VHF signal coming in and uh, we detect it broadband feed it to a DC amplifier which drives the meter now what's that reading it's reading essentially from uh, 50 megs to about 150 megs we wanted to avoid uh, any of the public service or ham bands because that would be a very sporadic amount of input 
And if somebody in the neighborhood, or even myself, keyed up the transmitter on 2 meters, 220, or 432, uh, this thing would go ballistic. So we took a good average of the spectrum from 50 to 150, uh, ran it through a, de a detector into a DC amp in order to see relatively what's going on here. So that's basically it. Um, here's some of the audio from... Uh, recovered audio from this signal. Again, we're at about S950 microvolts. And a little bypass mode. No, oh, we lost it completely. Nothing but hash at 37. Just starting to come back around 39, 41. There's uh, minus 10 dB at a 48. Here it is wide open. You can hear that's uh, perfectly armchair copy, no hiss, no noise. FM from uh, a fairly low powered station that's uh, not very close. Well, we're actually on the fringes of it. So there you have it. Uh, VHF, UHF, 3F, 15 uh, dB amps cascaded for 30 dB total gain, three antennas, uh, eight outputs in the back, uh, all multiplexed from the, uh, from the uh, last line amplifier. That's it. Uh, it's also on my website at bobsamerica.com. Bob's America. Thanks for looking.